Angus was at the door and ready to go out. He was so happy, tail wagging and his pace was fast. He did his first bowel movement on one of his usual lawns on Derry Street, and after disposing of the sample at the public bin, efforts began to try to get him home by touching his ears and paws and saying the word cold. He was sad. His stance was pointed in the direction of the park, so I agreed, making a mental note of an endpoint. As soon as we got to the park, we went up that wide path that leads to the dog's prohibited trail. Where we used to tromp through the grassland, we now tromp on a snowfield. We followed some little footprints through the snowed over grassland. I can only think they were human now because they, too, stopped at the wall of poison ivy. Two cross-country skiers passed us. The second skier scared Angus. The skier was just too close for his liking. A runner passed us, which was a fantastic diversion away from the dog's prohibited chariot. Angus had such a fantastic smelling adventure there, and he happily and freely trotted in the snow. He also provided a second good stool sample in these woods. We returned for frisbee and tug of war in the backyard. Place stopped when he began to lick at the snow on the back steps. I told him he has water inside. Just like yesterday, he was scrubbed around harness contact points for a long time, and he loved it. The game of chasing inside was short-lived as he needed to hydrate. Then he settled to be tucked in. Bowls washed and fresh water replaced. To maximize warmth, his blanket was folded so that most of it's covering Angus. I leave him having a nap.